All right, it is go time on this thing. It is time for paint. This is gonna be a big undertaking. There's been a lot leading up to this and I've got a lot left to do before we can actually start spraying. But this is gonna be the first of probably two videos uh, showing the process of painting our 1971 Holiday Rambler. So let's talk through some of the steps that we've got. So right now, this is sitting in my driveway. We need to get it down to uh, the shop that my company rents. There's an old lumber kiln that's actually big enough to get this thing in. So I spent this morning cleaning that out, cutting down some brush, making sure there was a clear path in there. It's gonna be a bit of a fight and it's not perfect, but it means we can get out of the sun and we can control this a little bit better. So before we can drive this, there are some things we need to do. A, we need to brace the inside. There's no interior walls. So we're gonna do that with some two by fours and a cross brace, kind of like when we lifted the body. Um, we're gonna put some temporary lights on it. And we also have some seam sealing to do. Um, this is not something that's super typical. A lot of people would say that you need to take apart the panels, put butyl tape in between. Um, I didn't wanna strip this thing down that far because it is all riveted together. So we're using automotive seam sealer to go through all of the overlaps on the metal and uh, just put a, a nice epoxy sealant in there that um, really should help seal this thing up. We're not using that on the windows. Uh, those all have butyl tape and caulk, uh, but we'll kind of get into to some of this. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that part because honestly it's boring, um, but basically I've taped all the seams, try to keep it as neat as possible. And then all of the trim pieces we're gonna do along the top and just kind of run my finger along those and clean them up. Once that's done, we're gonna hitch this thing up and very carefully drive about 25 minutes down to the shop and get this thing situated in the booth. So let me get the seam sealer on. I'll show you a little bit of video of that and then uh, we'll get this thing down there and we'll check in once we're there. All right, the camper made it down to the shop. It is gonna be a little bit treacherous to get it in here. So what I'm looking at behind me here is the booth that we're gonna be using. Had to get rid of some uh, graffiti, did a little bit of touch-ups in there, but um, this is a, an old lumber kiln uh, that is just huge. It's probably 25 by 80 or something like that. It's absolutely enormous. Um, tons of room to work in here and I was able to run power and air so this is gonna work really well, I think, for what we're doing. So the next step is to get the camper in here and then also just get some table set up, some lights set up, and just get ready to actually be able to use this space. The challenge is gonna be getting it in here. Let me show you why. So this is where we have to go with it. We've got it all the way over there and we gotta go across that water and through some really rough terrain to get it in here. So that's gonna be our next step is to try to get through there and uh, get this thing inside. All right, quick update. We've got this thing in. We've got our lights set up. This is my father-in-law, Ed, over here. He is sanding away. We've got some 600 grit and we're just trying to find any rough spots uh, to get it ready for the base coat. And then we've just got a little table set up with all of our supplies. Uh, and it's a little hard to see here, but we've got our gold for the stripes, our silver for the main, and then the red for behind the emblems. And then what we did was we set up, we've got a little air drying set up here with a regulator. And then we've got a bunch of shop lights just on the wall here. And they're really providing some good light. So that'll be good to be able to see any imperfections as we're prepping, as we're painting. And we've just got lights all the way around. So 
seam sealer is all on and uh, it's just gonna be a matter of working our way around and sanding this thing smooth and then I'm sure we're gonna have some spot priming that we have to do that comes from that. While Ed is sanding away, I am gonna start working on this dent up here. I'm gonna see if I can cut like a piece of wood that follows that curve and try to hammer it out from the inside. Um, even if I can just get it a little better, that's my goal. So here's what this dent looks like from the inside. It's pretty creased and it's right on this seam here, this welded seam, which makes me a little nervous. And there's a very hard edge right here. So I'm gonna use a heat gun to warm this up a little bit. And then what I've done is I've cut a two by four to a rough approximation of this curve. And I'm gonna come in and just use this to hammer this out a little bit with the goal being to get this flat enough that we can bond to it. All right, that worked pretty well. I just went outside and took a look. Um, it's still pretty ripply and there's a big crease here along the bottom. Um, but I think we're approaching a point where it's fillable. So um, I'm gonna go outside and work this with the body hammer a little bit and see if I can smooth it out a little bit. All right, the next step is to get some Bondo mixed up. We're gonna get a layer on that big one in the back and then probably on this, this front corner behind me here as well. We'll do a couple coats of that, get them sanded, and then use a glazing putty to do a final finish to fill in any little holes. It is day two of the painting project. We had a really successful day yesterday and we actually got a, a whole day ahead of schedule. Uh, I didn't do a lot of talking yesterday, but we were successful getting this down to this uh, big lumber kiln that we're working in. We added some lights on the walls and we sanded the entire thing. Uh, we've got everything scuffed, everything is smooth. And as you can see in this corner up above me here, um, all of the dents are now repaired. All the big dents are now repaired. There are a lot of little dents. We're not fixing those because I don't need a little dent or ding to ruin a camping trip when this thing's done. So 
Big ones are done. Um, we're gonna prime those today and we're gonna spot prime a few little spots where our sanding exposed some bare metal. And um, there's just a couple other little things. We're just gonna double check everything for making sure it's scuffed. And then if all goes well, today's the day to paint the gold on the stripes uh, on the front here and then also around the back. We'll see how it goes, uh, but that's the goal for today. Here we go. All right, we got this thing uh, primed. All of the spots that we repaired are primed. They look really good. There's a few spots that maybe could be a little better, but we're gonna roll with it. Um, we've got this part on the front mask, and then we've got the little spot right there that's gonna be red. So we're starting with the red, and we're taking a little bit of a risk here because the red that I got is an Eastwood paint. We're mixing it with a TCP Global paint. Um, they're both base coat, clear coat systems, but it was a lot cheaper to get the little bit of red that I needed from Eastwood. So we'll see, it's a different clear coat that's not intended to go with that product, but we're gonna spray the red first. We're gonna get that all nice and dry and then we're gonna mask over the red and we're gonna spray the gold. We've also got the spoiler in the back that we're gonna spray. So uh, I'll check in here as we get some paint on and show you how it's going. All right, quick update. Gold is done. It turned out really nice, um, had just the right amount. I've now unmasked the red and we're gonna clear coat it all at once. It's about seven o'clock at night. Um, so I gotta keep moving here. I'm running out of daylight, but we're gonna do a thin mist coat and then two heavier coats and then we should be good to go. Once we clean the gun, we'll pull this masking off tonight just to make sure nothing gets stuck on there too much. Uh, we've also got the spoiler Kind of hard to see in the dark back here, but that is also gold. And uh, we're gonna get that clear coated as well. So long day, but we had some good progress. We also uh, were able to mask some of the stuff for tomorrow, or at least start masking. There's a bunch more detail work, um, but all we'll have left tomorrow is that the rest of that masking, really good clean, and then we're ready to spray silver. So we're getting there. All right, it's the morning of day three. Energy is at an all-time low. However, morale 
all time high. The gold and the red went awesome. So here's the front. As you can see, the, the dents are really noticeable, uh, which I'm not shocked about. I mean, it is what it is. Anyone that's had a trailer that they've towed on the highway knows that this part gets beat up. But the good part is that this is super shiny. Uh, I think it's about as durable as it could be. You know, it's not perfect and that's okay. We knew it wouldn't be, but that's where we're at. Coming back here, I took one piece of mashing paper off. Uh, I really should have taken this off last night, but it just wasn't dry enough. I have to be careful. Uh, I don't want to lift any of the edges of this paint, but if I can catch a reflection here, the red turned out really nice. The gold turned out really nice. I mean, it's just so glossy. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Um, I really tried to go heavy on the clear coat to make it look really nice. It'll be a little hard to tell how the metallics laid out probably until we get out in the sun, but as far as I can tell in here, they look great. All the patch panels are starting to blend in now. Uh, the seam sealer was a bit of a challenge to cover, the black, um, but overall covered pretty well. When I do the silver, I'm gonna come along, probably do two coats on the sealer, and then, um, and then we should be good. So the goal there just being that the, uh, a lot of paint gets used doing full coats. So if I can come in and just coat uh, the bottom parts or anywhere where that sealer is that will help uh, stretch the paint a little bit but overall really pleased I, I just can't even say how much this is a morale boost to see actual paint on and with that we are going to end this video before we jump into the main spraying of the silver on the body the next video will be the final video in the painting series and it's just going to be like i said all the silver uh, which is going to be quite an undertaking. It is a lot of paint and uh, we're going to be under the gun with the weather a little bit. So um, stick around and subscribe to Baker Makes It if you haven't already. Should be next week we'll have a video out for the second part of this painting process. Thanks for following along.